A very very warm welcome to the Holistic Astrology podcast from Bhagyashri Holistic Astrology. Here we talk about some of the deepest concepts of astrology in the simplest way possible. This is season 1 episode 12 and today we will talk about the Libra ascendant or rising sign. Let's understand a few basic things about the Libra ascendant. Libra is the 7th sign of the zodiac and the natural occupant of the 7th house of your kundali. Since it is the 7th house, it controls your relationships, how you communicate with people around you, and the constant balancing act that you have to do in order to keep a relationship steady. The sign is ruled by Venus. The first sign of Venus was Taurus. which had the earth element but libra has the air element what makes libra ascendant truly lucky is that it gets the blessings of venus which means beauty luxury comfort and all the good things in life however in a typical monkey's paw situation it often takes away the sense of satisfaction i am yet to come across a libra ascendant person who's not charming they mostly have a very nice and pleasing physical appearance however they may never be satisfied mentally if the libra ascendant is unadulterated the people born in this lagna usually have a very beautiful build they have big eyes and beautiful lips they don't necessarily have to be outrageously beautiful but they do have a kind of attraction that is very difficult to ignore you feel like talking to them librans usually have a very well proportioned body their faces and bodies are also generally very symmetrical Sometimes the shoulders and hips can be broad and very strong as well. I would like to point out that even though they are very charming and beautiful, their skin may not necessarily be very soft. The same is applicable to their hair and their nails as well. So there is an inexplicable roughness or dryness about them, and this can sometimes be seen in their conversations as well. Librans don't usually try too hard to attract people towards them. They're very sociable and extroverted and they like to talk to people. You make friends everywhere you go. I do see that there is a lack of deep understanding in your friendships. So you may have people you talk to and have long conversations with, but finding people who will understand you on a very deep level is generally very very difficult. What I have noted with Librans is that these people often brush everything under the carpet for the sake of maintaining a relationship. But when it is time to actually mend the relationship, they can get very adamant not to. They are usually very good at advising people. They are great advisor, great counselors. They can understand people and ironically, they are very decisive. when it comes to other people and their life decisions so if a libra has to make a decision for a gemini they will do it very quickly and very decisively but when it comes to taking a decision for themselves they are very very indecisive despite all this i find them very sweet and soft natured people who will always try to make peace it is essential to check the position of venus while making any prediction for the libra ascendant they naturally get attracted towards martian and saturnian people they like people who appear strong and decisive but the problem is that these kind of people may get easily frustrated with librans so again this is a monkey's paw situation
librarians like refined and luxurious things anything coarse and unrefined usually pisses them off libra women generally are very tactful and diplomatic and they barely say something outright with men you will often find a tendency to be in female company they are not necessarily cheaters they are just naturally attracted towards refined conversations the softer finer sides of life and feminine company they are usually very good friends and good life partners libra women in general could be very doting mothers you are very romantic people and you mostly remain completely loyal to your partner you like cuddling and spending more time in private you like expressing your love by talking and doing nothing together now whatever extremely and outrageously romantic thing you can think of libra likes it not having love and romance in your life can really cripple your whole personality these people attach themselves to the personality of their partners in romantic relationships they often have issues with possessiveness they may also sometimes have huge monetary issues in the relationship as well the idea of control especially the control of how they communicate and how they spend their money could be very detrimental to their relationships they sometimes even go out of their way to make their partner feel jealous you know it could start a fire that you will not be able to douse as a libran you should learn to speak out and tell people if you have a problem with something closing your eyes to reality will never solve your problems you should take great care of your health focus specifically on the food you eat don't have very heavy food urinary tract infections are very common with your ascendant diabetes is also seen very commonly infections especially airborne infections are not very good for you in fact you catch them very easily whenever you're not happy in life whenever you're feeling sad or confused or indecisive focus on music and dance it will give you a lot of happiness so that's all for the libra ascendant You know I can go on and on about this. If you want to know more about the ascendant and you understand Hindi, visit my YouTube channel Bhagyashri Holistic Astrology. Next time we will talk about Scorpio ascendant. Till then, goodbye.